Hey everybody, Michael back here again. And today we're gonna to be exploring two packages that I got off of AliExpress. Now, one of the packages is, is that I bought one of these jailbreak discs that is compatible with the very latest jailbreak, which goes up to PS4 12.52. And then I bought another disc which is for the PlayStation 4 firmware's 9.0 through 12.02, so basically the previous jailbreak. And I wanted to see what exactly was on each of these discs so that you are aware of what you are purchasing. Now, one thing to note before we go any further is, is that I bought both of these discs in mid-December of 2025, and they literally just came in the mail. Okay, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Okay, so here is how the 12.52 disc was sent to me in this little small box here. Let's go ahead and open this on up. Okay, so opening this up here, we can see that we get a actual case here. Absolutely nothing else in the box. And it does have some text on the other side, but on the front cover it says Blu-ray disc up at the top. And on the back, you can see that right there, it just tells the same kind of thing, that this was for the 12.52 uh, PS4 latest firmware supported. So pretty much the same thing that was on the AliExpress website. Okay, so we can just see that it is just a standard disc. It does state BDRW disc and then BDJB with a little P4 symbol. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the 12.02 disc now. And it does feel like there is a case in here. So let's go ahead and get this opened on up. And right there, it does come with a blue Blu-ray disc case. There is nothing else in the bag, so no instructions or anything like that. So. There we see Blu-ray disc up at the top, and there is what is on the front cover. There is absolutely nothing else outside of the disc, and it does stay here, BDRW disc, and then just BDJB. Okay, let's go ahead and pop the 12.52 disc into my PlayStation 4. Okay, so I just popped in the disc and I am on a PlayStation 4 that is on 12.52 and right there it says Henloader AIO. Now this doesn't appear to be the original release from the Gold Hen team and I don't think that it had AIO for all in one. Okay, let's go ahead and fire it up and see what is on it. And right there we go. Now this one is auto loading. It's auto selecting. Now, the only difference here is, is that there was not an auto loader in the original image. And so this one says it is auto selecting in 1.5 seconds. So this one is a modified image. Let me go ahead and reboot and try this again. Okay, so it did detect my firmware. And just like that, this one's going to be jailbroken. So again, this is a modified image and we can see right up there at the top that Gold Hen has been loaded. We get our date and time updated. Okay, so an easy way to check if this was modified or not is to go over here into PS4 Explorer and we are gonna go root access here and we're just going to go down to mount and then disc and right there i can tell right off of the bat this is easily modified because all of these pkgs did not ship with the version that gold hen released now there's also an extras in here which is the cheats manager which is basically all the cheats the patches and the plugins where you could have a completely offline scenario. It looks like they also included all of the popular payloads over here. So yeah, this is just a nice little all-in-one disc. And what's kind of neat about this is, is that if you just have this disc and maybe you never had played with any of the jailbreak software before, you could just come right in here to package installer and you could go ahead and install all of these packages directly from the disk. 
and you could even get set up right there with the homebrew store. So it seems that the version that they used was this one over here by Lucas Lil Dev, and it is called the auto load version. And you can just download the ISO image here if you would like to and burn it to a disc instead of buying that disc off of AliExpress. Let's go ahead and put in our 12.02 disc for the PlayStation 4. Over on the PlayStation 4 here, I am on my 12.02 machine and I am not jailbroken at the moment. I have went ahead and popped in the disc and at first glance, this is Modded Warfare's version that he released a while back for 12.02 with this dot. So I believe that is successful. There we go. We see data payload.bin and right there we are. We're at gold hen 2.4. Okay. So I'm going to come over here to PS4 Explorer 2.0 and let's go ahead and look at that drive. So I'm going to come down here to the mount folder and we're going to go to disk. So it looks like they took his version and basically are just selling that as a disk. So I will include in the description here a direct link to this ISO image. It is still exactly the same. It is version 1.2, and it shows that this was uploaded on 9.02 of 2025. So that absolutely matches the file date that we saw in PS4 Explorer. But again, there's no need to buy this AliExpress disc if you do have access Blu-ray burner and then use something like ImageBurn to burn it. All of these PKGs, they are ready to go right out of the box. So by default, if we come back up here to gold in and we go to debug settings and then package installer, right there is Apollo save tool. We've got the cheats manager on here, which actually I could hit this button right here and go ahead and install it because I think since I formatted it, I haven't not put this back on the system. So Let's see if that gets me taken care of there. Okay, so PS4 Cheats Manager 1.22. And right there is Items Flow. We got the Homebrew Package. And the other kind of really cool thing that you could do with this is, is that you could come back in here to PS4 Explorer 2.0. And you could come here to Extras here and you could hit the R1 button and then the R1 button again. You can come right here and copy it. And then if you went back over here to the data folder, then you could just paste those in there and you could have a completely offline PlayStation 4 at this point. So now I could take those and let's just go into Cheats Manager since that's the last one that I just recently installed. And you could come right here to update. And again, you could drop down here to update cheats, patches, and plugins. And all of these are right there in that folder. So we can update the patches here. And then finally the plugins here. And now at this point, if you did want to go ahead and use Payload Guest, Payload Guest will be completely set up and ready to go. So right here we are, and you can see there is all of the normal payloads like enable, disable, update, our FTP, and some of our other payloads. Just an easy way to kind of run some of those. So, so there you go. Basically, both of these images are available online, and you can download them freely without purchasing from AliExpress. You can also go ahead and buy one of these discs if maybe you don't have access to a burner. At least now you know what is coming on these very latest discs. Anyways, if this video helped, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!